So what's going on guys, Alpha here and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I am going to show you how to install reshade or sweet effects to your game. So if you don't know what reshade or sweet effects is, uh, it's not really a mod, it's more of like a filter for your game so it's gonna make the game look a lot better. It's gonna change the color correction and also you can add filters like sharpening and stuff like that. So it's very useful and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to download and install it. So let's get started. So first of all to download the mod um, I'm gonna leave a link down below into the description. So just click that and it will direct you to this website. So from here you want to scroll down to this line here which says reshade and sweet effects and then there's a link. So you want to click on this link here and it will direct you to this website. So from here you want to choose this last file, uh, click on this little arrow here and from here go to download and then standard download. So it will start downloading and I'll be back as soon as it's finished. Once the file is downloaded, uh, obviously you want to open it and from here you can see you have a folder. So go into the folder and here you have two options. So first of all you have sweet effects. Now, you may want to use this if you have a sort of a low-end computer, so your computer isn't really powerful, then I think Sweet Effects is the one for you. But if you have a pretty powerful computer or just a normal computer, you can get away with using Reshade. So the final effect should be about the same and also the installation is very, very similar. So let's start with Reshade. Just open this Reshade file and uh, you will have another folder. So go into the folder and from here you want to go to the folder called ATS ETS2. So just double click here and here are all the files that you need. So to install this uh, you want to navigate to the folder where you installed your Eurotrack Simulator 2. So because I have it on Steam and if you do have it on Steam as well then you can just follow me. So go to your local disk program files and from here to steam then to steam apps common and here you can see your track simulator 2 so once you're in your your track simulator 2 folder uh, you want to go to the bin folder and here you have two folders so if you're using the 32-bit version I uh, want to choose the bin x86 but because I'm using the 64-bit one I'm gonna choose the first one here so go into the folder and Pretty much to install Reshade, all you have to do is go back to the file that I showed you earlier. Um, then from here you want to choose Reshade, the Vivid and Realistic Colors final, and then these two files. And this is all you need. So drag and drop them to your folder, and you have installed the Reshade mod. So, and with Reshade. The process is pretty much the same. What you want to do is go back to the file you downloaded, and so from there just choose the Sweet Effects file. So once you're in the Sweet Effects file, open up this folder, and again, just as the first one here is the ATS ETS2 folder. So click on that, and from here, what you want to do is choose these three files, and then this folder. So you have Sweet Effects folder. Then you have sweet.fx file, reshade.fx file, and also t3d9.dll file. So choose all of these files and drag and drop them to your ETS2 installation folder. The next thing to do is go into the game, so let us do that. So once you're in game, uh, the button to activate or deactivate the reshade is insert. So click on insert and you can see the difference here. So it changes between on and off pretty simple so if you want to change some settings for example I really don't like the sharpening filter then you just click shift and delete and this settings menu pops up so from here you can choose which filters you want so because I really don't like the sharpening filter I am going to deactivate the Luma sharpen filter and that's about it so just click X and you can load into the game and the game will look a lot better so also before we end the video, um, there are a couple of recommended settings that you turn off when using this reshade. So go to your graphics options and from here you want to disable the anti-aliasing 
um, depth of field and color correction. So once you disable them, uh, you should be good to go. So thanks for watching guys, if you found this video helpful then maybe subscribe to my channel, I'll post more of these tutorials and just gameplay videos very soon. Um, also like the video and maybe leave a comment. So again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.